Now a warning about hidden electric shock dangers while out in the water. These electric currents can be invisible but deadly. And they can be anywhere. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us live downtown. And Lauren, is there any way to tell if there's an electrical current in the water that you're about to touch? No, and that's what makes this so deadly. And it's very rare for this to happen. But living here in Florida, we have to take every precaution. Will Dahlstrom knows the water like the back of his hand. I've been on and off the water all uh, since I was three years old. Now the dock master here at River City Brewing constantly warning people to be careful. Some of the boaters and stuff that come in here, they'll want to uh, hang their feet off the side of the boat near the marina or, you know, hang their feet off the dock into the water. It's really not that great of an idea. Whether it's a marina or a swimming pool, these electrical currents can be anywhere. There could be live wires and everything from any of our dock boxes or any other uh, boats. When it comes to marinas, the overall consensus is to stay out of the water. But for swimming pools, maintenance is the best prevention. Right off the bat, you want a, uh, a certified electrician, obviously wiring any sort of electrical systems. Uh, they understand how to ground it properly, how to protect. Uh, so that's the most important piece. Whether it's your community pool or a private pool, make sure all of your outlets are covered with hard devices like this one, even when appliances are plugged in. While electrical shock drownings are rare. So, and take it seriously. Absolutely, it's, it's no joke for sure. And because we are in hurricane season, I want to remind you, even if it is a large puddle, you don't know if power lines go down and that is still hot and you can potentially get electrocuted that way. So stay clear of any water. My rule of thumb, if you can't see underneath the water and you don't know what's in it, don't step in it. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, the local station.